Are you losing your train of thought? I am. Right there. <laughs> Is your transmission builder just pick and pull? Yeah, we don't know. What's going on with this unit today? So today we made our first pass, and this is actually my second time at Woodward. So I was really sad to be back, and you know, had hopeful, high expectations, but um, I actually made my first pass, and at the top end, the car died and just laid over, so uh, I coasted off the top end, and there's just yeah. something yeah, wrong. No so uh, we have some speculations, but I'm hesitant to say what it is. Well, uh, it's fine to make the pass, but I can't, I just can't check do that it out. Again. So we're done for today. So I'm going to have one on the shoes. Shoes. Okay, okay. So what's what's the setup under the hood of this thing? This is one bad Camaro. <laughs> yeah. So under the hood we have a 427 LSX. Um, so it's... That, sorry, I'm just like moving to the top. 427 LSX and then it's a turbo, 72mm, 4 Warner twin turbos. Um, so last time we had it on the dyno, we made 1200 to the back tire, but that's been many changes ago, so, and it's through a 480, so lots of power loss there. But, um, <laughs> so, everything under the hood is like, I don't know if you can tell right now, but there's usually even more going on, but it's like a puzzle piece because um, the car is a very heavy car, it's a true street car, 3,800 pound car that um, we have, of course, this awesome setup here, but then we have air conditioning, power steering, you know, power windows. So, so dual fuel systems, the car is set up just for like endurance style stuff, so, like drag week and Rocky Mountain and stuff. I understand you won your class at Rocky Mountain. I do. So um, I've been working on like, events like drag week and Rocky Mountain for six years now. So I just turned 22, I was, or I was 21, like, you know, last week. But just turned 22 and I've been on Adam since I was 16. So um, it's been one of those things that, you know, I, I was young when I started, so it wasn't like I came in with like, just like, you know, the heavy hitter setup and like I totally knew what I was doing. No. So it's been a progression for me, a progression for the car. So um, six year work in progress and finally like have one under my belt that I can say I won like it's the best feeling ever so <laughs> that's dope that's dope I love this car I, I love seeing you race it on Instagram I feel like a chump and I wish I was faster <laughs> faster than I love going faster with that there comes a lot more fire yeah yeah you break I let Canadians drive my car one time Are you losing your train of thought? I am. Right there. <laughs> we have puns and cars on this channel. Good times. Well, thanks to Alex Taylor for showing off this badass Camaro, the Bad Marrow. Gotta hit the face with a chunk of rubber. I think we're gonna stay here. This seems safe. Fine, everything's this, fine. Don't worry. It's fine. It'll be fine. Justin's gonna kind of give us a rundown on the Hellcat swapped uh, Coronet. Yeah, that I think. My sure. My level of care. Uh, it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to Corey. It was an interior trying to tune it. So it doesn't melt everything out of the engine. But um, it's a Hellcat short block. It's a short block. And it has five, seven truck heads and intake on it, and whatever the accessories and all that stuff's off, whatever. Um, I don't know particularly the turbo size. I think it's a 7692. Like I told someone else, it's not like a low quality, low quality Chinese turbo. It's like a good quality Chinese turbo. But, uh, yeah, it's a GM 4080 trans at the local junkyard. Explore rear at the same place. Is your transmission builder just pick and pull? Yeah, we don't build it. Uh, not a bad one yet. The one I put my truck is going to be a bad one. But so far, everything he gets works mint. Put a shift kit in it, holds like a thousand horsepower, it's gold. Good God. So this is just some auction block 
a Beijing air blower tuned by question marks. <laughs> I'm his brother. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing. They're asking me. I got. I don't know what's wrong with it. So you guys finally got the stumble out of it, though. Yeah. It was one box check wrong and full, full box setting. Something to do with the crank, the cam trigger. Dang. I don't understand what it would be. Something wasn't right. That's all I know.